Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of the Daily Friend Wrap. I'm your host, Nicholas Larimer, today joined by Makone Maja. Let's get into the first news story of today. And of course, last week we covered the departure from the EFF of its Deputy President, Floyd Shavambu. And while it seemed, at least at the time, that maybe on the surface things might remain cordial between Malema and Shavambu, uh, that has not lasted. Malema has lashed out in a two-hour-long speech, sort of slightly reminiscent to me of uh, Adolf Hitler in the bunker in the final days um, at Floyd Shavambu. And any other people he thinks might be plotting to undermine the leadership of the EFF. Uh, in a two-hour monologue to supporters, he... Uh, got the crowd to chant things like, let's go to war. He shouted, uh, Floyd, what did I do to you? Um, and he said the following, I want them to leave. Uh, I want to say to them, leave now. Leave now so that we know we can know how many soldiers we have for this struggle to liberate our people. You must leave today because nothing is going to change between now and December. We have no reason to beg anyone. If you want to leave, leave now and leave us alone. We will always continue to speak truth to power. It is now time to build an iron wall in defense of our movement as we confront not only our historical enemy, but also those uh, among us who wish to see the death of this revolutionary movement. We must unite and close ranks against anyone who might want to use our National People's Assembly as a tool to infiltrate the EFF. So I think, uh, you know, we've been talking on the show for a long time that the EFF has increasingly seemed to be erratic in its leadership decisions. Malema just fires people left, right and center. He often seems to humiliate people in public when uh, he's not uh, impressed with the way that they've been doing things. Uh, and I think that the kind of ructions we're seeing now in the EFF are exactly what uh, uh, was a long time coming. Makore, what do you think? Yeah, I agree that it's been a long time coming, Nick. I think that Julius Malema has a history of treating his members, even the senior leadership in the EFF, um, dispensably and even humiliating them on public stages. And so while I think that Floyd is more motivated by wanting to create a name for himself elsewhere, which he will never really get the chance in the EFF. I mean, Julius is only 40 years old. He started the party when he was in his early 30s. He still has a good 40 more years left in him as president of the EFF. And I know that he keeps making a call to be challenged, but we know that he, he will likely never let that happen. He, I do not see him. If he if he does not cede to someone like Floyd Chivamu, who he equates to a brother who he said about um, the letter of his resignation, resignation that it reminded him of uh, uh, when he would receive the passing of, of his mother, I think. Um, if he does not cede to someone like somebody he holds in such high regard, somebody he holds in such closeness. He even said at the press conference, you know, he's closest to Floyd. So if uh, Floyd's departure caught him off guard, like imagine the others, right? If he, if he does not give up to someone like that, or if he does not give way to someone like that, then I do not see him being challenged. But I do stand on the fact that he tends to treat his leaders dispensably and you just cannot run a party like that. Certainly not one that you want to grow and see flourish. You know, I would expect that you'd want to pour into your leaders. Um, and support them as a as a so-called leader in the revolution. Um, if you called it in the media that that press conference of Floyd's and the seemingly amicable his seemingly amicable departure was nothing more than um, PR management that behind the scenes there had been um, conflict and contempt between the two brewing, and I'm guessing it's now spilling over. What I what I I do not foresee Floyd engaging in in this. Um, he tends to let the, the media um, run with its narratives and stick to the, the politics. I think he will continue um, building at the MK where he has a better chance of ascending a leadership role, one bigger than Malema, certainly in, in, in the fact that the MK is going to um, outgrow the EFF it, it has in many ways. Um, but yeah, if he manages to strengthen the organizational structures at MK, then he has a better shot there. And then I really can't wait to see them, the, the two possible president nominees, right? Floyd for MK, if that ever happens, if if he if that ever happens. <laughs> and Julius for EFF, that would be um very interesting. 
No, exactly. And this is a great example of why you always need to leave room in any organization for new leaders to emerge for more than one personality, because inevitably you're going to have a fallout like this, particularly when something goes wrong, like the EFF's 2024 election, which did not go that well. And so um, I think this also endangers the alliance in some ways between the EFF and MK. I'm sure they're going to continue by necessity to work together, but it's clearly going to be less happily than before. Um, now that the EFF seems to think that there are traitors in MK's ranks.